Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Hope Mass Tom, and today I have a very special friend, Tiffany. Every time I talk about podcasts at the end of my videos, these this is her. This is who I do them with. Welcome to my channel. Oh my god, thank is you. Is this your first time actually on my channel? Yes. Oh my god. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to make my YouTube debut officially. <laughs> It's gonna be like this the whole time, but today we're doing a new makeup nonsense bingo. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with new makeup nonsense bingo, it was started by Emily Hanhan and Teresa is dead. It has since moved on to Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Andra at Home. So those are like the core members, and I just I just play and try to tag along to gain clout. I we guess we love that. No, you're the main goal is to become friends with one of them. Yeah. Teresa's dead would be specifically for me would be like well Teresa's how I found her. this whole situation like, like it's, it was my in that would be amazing but they're all they're all great content creators I watch them all yeah but Teresa I mean Teresa? she said some nasty stuff on her channel I, and I appreciate it I fuck with it heavily though so if you've never played New Makeup Nonsense Bingo or you don't know the point of it, normally there's adult libations involved, but it's the middle of the day on a Saturday, so we're drinking coffee. While I'm drinking coffee, you think Tiffany... I her? have coffee. Oh, do you want to bring it's it over fine. here? Yeah. So essentially what you do is you get uh, under some sort of influence. I guess caffeine is an caffeine influence. Caffeine is an influence. And look at New an Makeup releases. And, I've and you also play bingo. So uh, these are the cards Tiffany and I are using for our New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. They're on the screen somewhere. Which is exciting. You'll get to pick an icon so I can dot off your stuff with it. I'm so excited. This is also a very hard thing to do if you like want to do it. It just like takes some time and effort and editing is a bitch. So I'm, I encourage everyone to do it. I have the stuff like linked in my stuff below. It do seem kind of hard though. Yeah, Tiffany's about to find out how this goes. So. <laughs> now the real question is, is am I going to be able to use Britney as an icon yeah. for my bingo card? Okay, yeah, whatever you want to do. <sighs> Just make sure you find a like a PNG where there's no background. That's like kind of the key. I can do that. The first t product we pulled was the Dior Skin Forever Natural Bronze Powder. I it's thought soft it. and light texture, blends perfectly with the skin for a natural and long wearing result. Enriched with ninety five percent mineral pigments. Isn't it like what all powder, is mineral powder? All that's what I mean. Is what is not? the five percent that's not? Bitch is the real question. That's okay. So, there are eight shades, but only five, six, seven, or eight available. Do you see that at the bottom of this description? Like the one with the combo? I really do. What is that about? It's $48. Wait, Maybe sorry. because it's summertime? Why does it say $40.80 and then regular? Oh, it's on sale. Already? See, know. that bodes very badly for me. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say that's all red flag. <laughs> like, why is your shit already on sale and it just came out, though? And, like... If you look at this, oh, 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 okay, wow. So if you look at all eight shades, it's a pretty good range. Oh, yeah, we have yeah, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. I did not see that when I thought that. I thought all of them had four shades on it because I did not read the description whenever I was like putting it in here. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for people who have very deep complexions. I know bronzer is like tough, tough, tough. I, Historically when, speaking, with our shared past yeah. and trauma, trying to find bronzer at... The, the, the place that we worked at that rhymes with Bahora. No, I say that I worked at Sephora. Oh, yeah, you do. But, yeah, so Well, I, it was like, it was never, it was never a good time. Especially if someone came in and was like, I want a cool toned yes. bronzer and I have a deeper skin tone and it's just like. <sighs> right, so I would. Maybe always, we could find one. Tiffany and I were, um, Sephora probably wouldn't love that we were very real with our clients. So we'd be like, try these brands that Sephora Don't does not carry. carry. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we had high client retention, I feel, because we were oh, honest yeah. with people. So, anyway. Surveys for days, honey. I do like the compact it's in. I love a good compact. It looks though. like it's, like, leather with sewn, like, sewn situation. I'm not mad at anything that I see here, except that it's... Why it's on sale. And why are there only four shades available? Like, there's like a lot of questions. Is, there's a lot of questions mm -hmm. for a launch like that. I don't yeah. know why you're doing that, and I don't feel great about it. So, I don't feel that I have anything that probably fits this. Because Unless if I go with pretty embossing basic makeup because the compact it is, is kind of cute. It is pretty. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll go for that too. Let's, why don't we both? Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's, let's, let's 
start on a high note. I love that for us. <laughs> Just tell them what it is, and then we'll talk. We'll talk about it. Okay, first of all, Ella Masca is how you pronounce. Oh, the thank brand. you, Ella yeah. Masca. Color correcting bronzers <laughs> neutralize redness and balance skin tone while creating natural sun kissed glow. Three shades: glint, flare, fire, light, medium, dark. Hydra lip tint. And there on the there's a there's a, 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 it, a big shot I, of them. I didn't get also all of... is like three different shades. Okay, so uh, oh honey, if if you are have some kind of visual impairment where you cannot see this correctly, there is a teal Stripe blue of teal <laughs> going down the center of the bronzer. There's a lighter side, like a cooler side, and a warmer side. Here's the thing: the compact is not that big. You have to blend all three shades. There's no way you're, you're going isolating. in with a brown. Oh, yeah. not at all. Also, okay, let's think about the color wheel. Blue is on the opposite side of like orange yellow. Correct. Who has, who is looking for that color correction? Also, you're bringing warm yellow tones into your skin with a bronzer naturally because that's what you're looking for. You want a healthy, warm glow. So you are looking Hence for Hence why the... you're wearing the bronzer. So what you just want is a contour shade, essentially. <laughs> is that what we're looking at here? I'm not, I'm, who asked for this? I don't know. It was, I think Ella Masco was just like, how can we do bronzer but not like other girls? It's like the feeling that I'm getting because these... <laughs> These are ugly. One, they're ugly. So ugly. I, I never. I have. They, we didn't this, even get to the lip tints yet. With like the stripes. So the lip tints are like less like offensive to me because it's a lip are tint. Are they? I mean, they're ugly, but like, I they're probably going on so sheer. Like if you look at this woman putting it on in the first one, it's not like you're gonna get that much pigment. You're gonna Can get I just like. Tell you that photo. And like, like it's the suctioning. way, yeah, it's like it like off. repulses me. <laughs> Sorry, don't look at it too the long because I know where you're at. The mouth feel of looking at that photo for me is repulsive. It's not great. No, I hate, I hate this. Also, they want 45 US doll hairs I'm for so the I'm so glad bronzer. you brought it up. 45 <laughs> USD, mama. How much is a hourglass bronzer? 48 so okay spend three yeah. more dollars if you want this just get the hourglass bronzer Tree. we are hourglass needs to extend their range like in a bad 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 seriously bad way however, but their bronzers are so if they could make however, one for a deep complexion it would be so gorgeous the game would be yeah. changed i love their bronzer so much that like like to me those are just really expensive lip balms like there is like some There's fun no that the color is gonna that. be like no that feels frivolous no i yeah. I don't like any of that. Okay. I'm actually, if there's like a complexion release, complexion release with a terrible range, there's only three bronzers. They're not that good looking. Because like the Dior one at least had eight shades and it looked pretty diverse. It went from Correct. light to dark. These are three and it's like good luck. I, I, yes. <laughs> what you just said, absolutely. This is the Makeup Revolution Aristocats. Marie collection. This is a lot for one character in a movie that was released more than 20 years ago. Like 30 years ago. Is this ColourPop? Oh no, Make Revolution. Revolution. Sorry. The vibes though. That is a dual sided palette. Yeah, you open it up, there's two sides. There's, uh, hold on, six each one, 12, 18, 36 shades. But I ask you why? Honestly, I can't say anything because I did buy two Natasha Denota that 28 pants. That feels very different, though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, knowing me, yes, it does. But, like, this, first Quality of all... Quality-wise, range-wise, like, color story-wise... Right. I do like not need 28 purples. Uh, yeah, this. 28 purple pinks. Yes! That's all that is. There's, like, an orange. don't understand. And I, I kind of, like, where there's gray in there, it's just, like... I mean, uh, yeah, if you only want one palette and you don't own one, maybe. I, I hate can't... when it feels like there's an arbitrary amount of makeup being included in a release. This could have been a quad. Very that. Yeah. Or like also, a la the Tetris monstrosity that was released recently. It's with... just like you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Yeah. Sis, maybe curate the experience a little bit and people will be like, this is interesting. But why this now? No one and asked for this. I, I mean, I feel like a lot of people really hold the Aristocats highly in their memory of it. 
But sure, like, which is fine. Like, and I think this is that. this is like aimed at people our age specifically because I don't think Gen Z is like going to be as into a Aristocats idea of the Aristocats as we are. I can't speak for that demo at this juncture. What are, I don't know. I'm sorry. Those highlighters are yikes. But I will say the cutest thing is the mirror compact. It is cute. I agree with you. And that would be if I were to buy anything from this range or consider it, it would be the compact, I which is I would simply bad. just never interact with this. No. I'm a hard sell and I love nostalgia. I'm a nostalgia person. Mm -hmm. I have like a lot of affinity okay, for hold Disney, up, sorry. but what? Zo you have to zoom in on that brush. Oh, it is cute. It, ha it looks like a cat's paw. Okay, pets. sure. Sure. But is that, is that useful? No. I am a hard sell on the nostalgia geared makeup moment. Mm -hmm. So like the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop stuff was like... Nice to look at with my eyes, but not yeah. anything I would ever purchase in my whole entire life. Never, not once. No. And the other thing is like, if co the color pop problem is like a color pop specific problem because they're like, here's the thing every day. And it's like, well, no one asked for this. No one said, please give me please. 700 things. 1800. And I thought, my thought was like, if they brought out those body glitters and I was like, that would have been great if it wasn't the... It was the first time you had body glitters, and it was like the special '90s thing because body glitter was a thing. We loved right it. We was a loved, moment. Yeah, correct. So I don't really know. Like, I just don't. This isn't great. It's no. obviously a makeup revolution. Go away. I mean, I have that one. I don't know if you have that one. Oh, I don't know that I do. It could be a true cash grab. It is. Is it? My only I mean, thing is, like, I don't think this is going to sell because no one well, cares about the, the Aristocats. Like, if it was, like, a Lizzo oh, collection. Oh, no, I do have Makeup Revolution go away. You know, oh, my get, God. Let, us, let the people know. Okay, so this is the Bottle Blonde collection from Trixie Cosmetics, which includes the 12th Pan Eyeshadow Palette, Hater Gloss, I'm Baby Lip Gloss, Eye Ponytail <laughs> Lip Gloss, Press On Lip Gloss, Bottle Blonde Accessory Pack, Pink Handheld Mirror, a PR box, a scrunchie set, and a sweatshirt. So, I watched the we I watched the release video for this, so I like I'm familiar with it just a little bit. I have not, but I've like been catching the socials. Okay, here's the thing. Here was the tough, tough thing. Trixie would be like talking about the eyeshadows, and there would be a live swatch, and the swatch was bad. So the other thing that is very sus for me personally is so the product photo. Doesn't look like a live product photo. It's no, like no, no. some sort of like shopped Photoshop moment. Situation. Like not actual live product yeah. situation. And I find that very unsettling. Like how am I supposed to get a sense of what this really looks like? And if you look on the website, even the swatches are like those really weird, like stylized, like cleaned up swatches. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I have no idea conceptually what this looks like. First of all, I I don't know why everyone's really using like purple pink color stories right now, but I'm why is I am that? so tired of it. It's all purple pink. And I don't know because it's we're moving into summertime, which everything should be like bronzy. Warm and glowy yeah. or whatever. Well what's interesting too is and I don't know if you saw this or not, but she was saying, um, she posted or well this was on Twitter. Weirdly enough, I've been on Twitter the last two days, which yeah. like never really happens That's to me. For you. Obviously some sort of trauma cycle is happening for me because like why am I interacting with Twitter but <laughs> so you, just want to be, you want to be punished I just would like to be upset I guess um she retweeted something from 2019 and she was wearing the shadows then because she was testing the makeup okay so this has been in development for some time which is like oh right that doesn't feel good I don't know how that made I <laughs> but I yeah, well, you would think if this was being tested two years ago, this, well, the thought behind of it, she's a cosmetologist, like, has a license, or, like, Correct. had a license, I don't know if she keeps it active, who knows, probably right. keeps it active to keep, get cheap shit, because that is, why the, wouldn't you, if you have a beauty why license to get cheap shit, it's so easy, everything is almost at cost, if you work hard enough, you can get it at cost, so I kind of like the idea that it is, like, this moment, it, it was interesting, like, I didn't know why James was, I didn't, it felt like James was supposed to be more included than she was, but she's just in the promo photos. But it was like, oh, I kind of thought it was like a collab. And then I saw uh, them together because I was like, oh, look at that. Yeah, this That's feels really... a little confusing. The pacing for her 
her releases are recently weird. have been like very strange because too. The Back to the Fuchsia blushes could have easily gone with this. Right. They match. They go. And I mean, I think I have like some level of like understanding that Trixie seems to be at the helm of this. Like for real, for real, for real, for real. It's not mm-hmm. like she's owned by a parent company of any kind. Yeah, I mean, she's I have like not looked doing into this. Yeah. So. I get right, it, if you look at the of? pace of like Trixie's brand growing versus Kimchi, who has like backing, exactly. Like it's Kimchi a t- has it's like a different Kimchi piece. is like a different a second color pop. Kimchi's out here doing a lot. Yeah, I do feel like there's a little bit more of a curation with Trixie. Okay, so but in the video, she's weird. like, "This is the whitest white, and this is the blackest black." And I was like, "Says I." But this I, doesn't look like anything to me because no. this is not a true photo of but the here's product. The thing. If I I do not want a palette with black in it unless it's adding something. None of the other colors are dark enough to warrant a black. Unless you are just using it as a liner, I do not want that in my palette. Right. I'm fine with people use it. Like, I don't personally use, like, eyeshadow as my liner, but I know a lot of people like a the lot convenience of, people do. of it. Yeah. But a black, a lot, people who want to use... It doesn't feel like it, it fits in this. No. It just is, like, it makes it really And I dark. don't even hate it. I could... I do. I could be... Well, <laughs> this is, like, very much the opposite of where you are in life currently. I could... I could fuck with this. Right. But the... I'm... I'm feeling very soft. Also, also... I don't want to say that this feels like an outrageous price, but it it's does. A, it's, it's a outrageous. lot of... Just, it, it is. is okay. it's, a, it's a little rough. And, like, it's I rough. say that as someone who, like, likes expensive makeup, but, like... $48. For a Trixie palette... Girl, we don't even know what you about yet. And mm-hmm. these this is not the real product photos. Your swatches are but sus. Like, I'm not convinced. Trixie's, people are going to buy this because Trixie's very popular. I think people... Correct. I think with drag queens specifically, there are people who aren't going to wear makeup that will buy this. Will buy the PR box just because they, like, want to have something. The mirror is yeah. cute, but when the it's upside really down, cute. it does look like balls. Well... And she did hang it upside down. I was like, I love that. But she didn't say anything about it looking like balls. But she, but she knows. Um, I really like Trixie. Like, I've did come, you get any of her lip products? I did. I haven't like worn them enough. Okay. I actually have on the her Back to the Fuchsia blush okay. today as well as like the silver highlight. Um, just because I felt like wearing both. Yeah. I don't hate how they perform. It's not great. It's just fine. Right, and that's what I that forty eight dollars for just fine is like. It's too like much not money. gonna do it no. for me for eyeshadow, like complexion product or like her lip glosses are like reasonably priced. Yeah. When like, I did wear them, it was like very comfortable. It wasn't sticky. No, it wasn't sticky. Totally fine. And like I can fuck with that, but eyeshadow though, because you have taken me to like literal motherland. Like <gasps> now I'm a much more discerning consumer. Well, once you get, like, a really good eyeshadow, and I'm not saying that, like, I like the way Pat McGrath shadows perform. Some people don't. It's just, like, but, like, when you find that thing that, like, works for you, I like, I like the way expensive eyeshadows typically It's perform. tough to go back, yeah. though. And, like, I can do it for some stuff as long as the quality is still, like, of a certain level. I'm, like, at the point where I do not want to fuss with my eyeshadow. Like, if and it's not fair. performing the way, I, like, tried a palette I hadn't used in a while, and I was like, this is... Not, not for it. you, not, not your it. journey. But yeah, this is not it for me. This and is... let's stop selling like an accessory pack of stickers and patches. Like, what is that? For $16? That really got me. I was somebody, like, you want $16 for stickers? Somebody from somewhere is. It, oh, yeah. That, those are the people who don't them. buy makeup or they're buying them. I don't know that I have a thing. Uh, You know what? I think this is a bust for me, too. That's so. okay. Let's, Either way, this is this is not our journey to take. No, we are not buying it. We are, are we buying this? No. no. That. You know, I thought about it for two seconds, but as soon as I saw $48, I was like, absolutely not. Oh. This is the Chocolate Hill Prep Bake, uh, the Prep and Set Collection. Prep, bake, brighten, and set your way to a flawless complexion. Jacqueline Hill. Mm, excuse me while I say, get fucked. <laughs> Absolutely not. No way. So, I don't think so. So there's the Prep Starter Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Bye. There is the Bake and Brighten Under Eye Powder. The Face It All Brightening and Setting Palette. And the Last Act Translucent Setting Powder. These are priced better than the Trixie palette, though. They are priced more responsibly. Yeah. But you are going to try to tell me on this day in 2021 that I need to put all of this product in and around my eye? 
<laughs> I'm not talking about Jacqueline is. She puts a shit ton of product she on her does. face. She puts so much product. It is not, it is like fine if you are doing like what we are doing right now. You can get away with wearing like a heavy look because the lights are forgiving. The camera is a little bit more forgiving, which sounds fake. But like when you're this far away, it all like kind of blends together whether or not <laughs> when it When you're is. this far away from the camera, honey. Which and is, when you have this kind of lighting, Sweeney. But I'm just saying like. Yeah, she has soft boxes at the wazoo. I'm sure, like, I don't edit, I don't enhance my video past, I just put it, I, like, don't enhance it. I am sure that she has filters that she puts on her Definitely. videos. So, like, who knows what Jacqueline's face really looks like at any given moment. But she, at, when Kate the Great, if you've not seen the video where she does the <sighs> tutorial, it's really worth seeing because she's like, this is a lot. She, like, wears three foundations. It's, like... It's yeah. a lot. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. The under eye primer. Let me tell you what. I am someone with very temperamental eyes and under eyes at that. You're going to tell me I need a primer for just a serum, a priming serum for just my under eye. I mean, Sweaty. other brands have done it. Becca did it and the people love it. If you have some sort of, and I'm not even saying like don't use a color corrector. I have a color corrector. I use it. I love the way it makes my under eye look. But you pile too much shit on your under eye, even if you have baby, smooth under it's eyes. It's going to be gunky. Your shit is going to look gunky, cakey, and creased. Okay? Get fucked. And then you're going to powder it twice or whatever? Like, because you have translucent setting powder all over. Mm -hmm. Face it all brightening setting. And then also just under eye powder. Ma'am? It's a lot. It... Here's the thing. I don't know what's happening with Jacqueline Cosmetics. It was like the comeback happened are and now like, like something's happening we every like, week. Are we like just, have we moved past? Jacqueline fans are Jacqueline fans. You can take that as you will. If you take it as an insult, you're right. I <laughs> well, I just am saying like, I, the, here's the thing though. I think that, uh, I was watching beauty news which is great. If you like watching new release stuff and getting different opinions, Beauty News is like really good. And they do, it's not really like anti hauling They're like telling you about the product and then right. they like go into why it's good. The one is like a makeup artist and the other one was a beauty blogger years before she was on YouTube. So you're kind of getting like a pretty good perspective. Not the end be all end all. They said that Jacqueline's brand, like something happened where it like got bought out by like she sold it to someone and so like now there's like a real company running it with her so they're like we are not gonna have all this nonsense that you have been pulling the tomfoolery that yeah did occur so i think that will like, not occur i don't again. think we're gonna see stuff like that anymore hopefully i don't want to i, I mean like i don't want to see people fail and i feel a little bad because like i came out the gate hot about this <laughs> but this just feels this is unnecessary. Did anybody it could have been like for one. this? No. I, uh, also, it's summertime. Less product, the better. That's what yeah. I was going to say. Like, are people like clamoring for multiple ways to set different parts of their face? Maybe. I don't know. Pat McGrath also recently released that banana colored. But she are, that's already a part of a set, though. That's just like a different color within right. existing, an existing product. But I'm just saying that came out recently. This is coming out around the same time. Yeah, so maybe I there guess. was like a. I don't really understand. Here's the thing. I'm not going to buy this. This is not my journey. Yeah. This? It's yeah. so oddly specific to release a range that didn't try to like hype it up. Like, here's this really great under eyed four piece thing you could buy. I'm just so strange. I don't know that we're going to find anything. No, this is very, this is so specific. No. I, <laughs> uh, if Jacqueline keeps making uh, stuff as fast as she has been, I will say that uh, it's going to turn into like a color pop situation because I think she's going to get that thirsty. Because you know whenever she like finally puts out an eyeshadow palette that is hers, that is from her brand. That is not garbage, be... I guess. What? That is not garbage. I don't know. I never used the Morphe palettes. I've heard that the first one was good until it changed formulation and then the second one sucked and then the vault sucked. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, oh. There has been nothing but drama with this woman anytime she's worked with a brand. I just, like, don't trust her. She makes me very leery. Yeah, I look at her from afar. I, I also, I, as someone who did not start BeautyTube with Jacqueline being, like, OG Jacqueline, I have, like... No nostalgia, no warm no, thing No, because heart. she reads only fake to me in her new Oh, videos. I completely agree. Could not agree with you more. <laughs> They're ColourPop quads. 
Yeah. A neutral, soft glam look, perfectly packaged in all in one palette, coming in six brand new color stories, nine dollars each. They are nine dollars. Aren't they our full size palettes? Twelve dollars with nine shades. I think so. Twelve or sixteen. These are not hideous. They are not. There's a there's a very specific person that these are created for. I don't know that that person's gonna casually find this, because you have to want to you have to know what ColourPop is to go find ColourPop. So like I feel like people like us, people who are very into makeup, people who like would watch this video and watch videos about makeup. This is not for them. Their collection is who too do dead. you think this is for? I think it's for the plain Jane. If you happen to see it when you were at Target, you're like that's like well, pretty. Well, uh, Ulta is coming to Target, so therefore ColourPop will likely be in Target. But so. ColourPop's turnover is so fast; only the staple products make it to the stores. Do you know what I mean? Also a good point. So also. Oh, I feel I, so confused. I'm, I'm, they're actually kind of pretty. They are. They're like, not I'm bad. not repelled by no. these. And they have like a nice deep one. So it's like not, they're exactly. not, they're not believing Like, you. and the packaging is very simple. Yeah. This is just for like, someone who wants fine. to throw this in their bag. But I also don't understand throwing your eyeshadow in your bag. I feel like you put your eyeshadow on at the beginning of the day and then you don't think about it until the end of the day. Like, that's my philosophy on eyeshadow. I don't know about everyone else's. But like, have you ever felt compelled to touch up your eyeshadow when you were like not in your house? Personally, me? Yeah, no. personally. Whatever so. happens, happens after I leave my home. But I think about this. I think quads, like like this. Simplicity. This. You don't get as overwhelmed because there's not multiple pans. Yeah. You know what I the mean? The color story is complete. It's very self-contained. It's yeah. just like, obviously, by process of elimination, you can mm -hmm. figure out what goes where. And even if you would do something. Right. It's like, here's your transition. Here's your crease. Exactly. Put one of these on your Exactly. Bed. Do you remember mm -hmm. back, way back... Actually, they're probably still on sale, but <laughs> maybe they're made by Alme. I don't even know, but like it would, it was the show you what part yes. of the eye. So put like it, on. it was a little yeah. pan situation moment, but like each little compartment in the in the mm -hmm. small palette was like the eye. Yeah, and then you pick the one that corresponded with your, your eye, eye color. color. I do remember these. This is like almost that, but more product. And these are full size pans. They're not mini. Yes, pans. these are like actual. I would probably like them better if they were mini pans. Do you think? I think I would. Because like, it. Okay, if we're thinking about the average consumer of makeup, not okay. us, not us, not us, not you, not you, not, not you, you, not me. But like, let's say Judy ah. went to the store. She doesn't need a full pan of eyeshadow. We are never gonna touch pan on an eyeshadow. It's like gonna be very rare for us. Odds are odds yeah. Are high. Oh, I also, I think I would like this better at a $5 price point with smaller pans because $9 seems a little bit too much for this. I think I agree with that. But you know what, though? Color Pop, this is not terrible. This is fine. Yeah. This it would seem like the they actually thought about it. Yeah, this is not the worst. And this one's easy because it's a what color What is on really. your, what is your highlighter? Is it Ritual Defeat? Mm -hmm. Center box is now checked. <laughs> okay. I was waiting for it. Yeah, my center box is checked. These are a little bit... They're not like dated, but like they're a couple weeks older. Some people have already okay. talked about this. But these are the Lethal Cosmetics Glitch Multichrome Liquid Eyeshadows. And they range from $21 to $24. And I just know that off the top, which is really sad. But they range in price because the, the pigments cost different amounts. So they are not just like generalizing a cost, mm -hmm. which is like, I think nice, but also very confusing to someone who doesn't really know what's going on. Right. They're like, why is this one $24? Why is this one $21? Here's the thing with me and Multichromes is like, I've kind of seen it, seen it, done it. And I have a whole collection. I was going to say, you have also now crossed over into Mecca as far as like the multi-chromes go. Also, liquid eyeshadows never perform for me. I have very greasy eyelids. So I if, do too. If, if it's not a powder, it's going to go away. But I think this would be very cool to like do some liner work with a multi-chrome. Yeah, these are. This is one of those things where I would buy it and I'd be like super excited about it, and then I would use it once or twice, and then it would dry out, and then I would be depressed. The Stila Magnificent Metals. R.I.P. The same thing. Exactly. So like, in theory, it's nice if you want to try it. I don't think these are going to be bad. I've only heard good things about Lethal Cosmetics. I just have never tried them myself. I just don't know that this is it. This is not my journey. No. Also, it just feels too late. Like I feel like Lethal Cosmetics is just a second too late. Like, I think if you asked us three months ago, like if these came out three months ago, I think people would have been like, yes, but I feel like we're moving past the multi crew. Like we're moving into whatever is next. And I don't think we found it. Are we doing like what eyeshadows? 
other people might be. I I don't know. I'm not. But like, are you? I know glass skin is what people call it, but like, I feel like glass skin was in last year. It's every summer glass skin comes back around because everyone wants to be glowy because it's summer. I don't ever want to be that glowy. I'm so sorry. Because you know what? I'm going to end up close to that anyway without even trying. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on all the multi-chromes. I, I don't care about this really. You might not have it because I think yeah, I have one without so. it. Oh, no, I do. <laughs> Bobby Brown is launching the Glowing Pink Collection inspired by their best-selling highlighter and powder shade Pink Glow. I gotta tell you off the top, I literally hate this. I hate everything about this. I am so tired of rose collections, pinky collections. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. And if you've been that with me any your, amount of time. That is your Pat McGrath trauma. Speaking yes, right if you, now. Yeah, because if you, that woman came out with not one, but two mothership And then there's palettes. a third something that is pink if it is a fucking third mothership that is still in the divine rose collection i will literally i i don't even i haven't checked but i bet my comment was deleted because i was like i am not interested in another pink thing <laughs> so I was like, like and i was like do something I was like else. if it's a blush and there's a range of colors sure but if you were releasing one pink blush absolutely not i am done and you had so many opportunities to release a blush with all your other collections with this pink pink theme, pink. Uh, I, I am so deeply triggered. I am, and but also everyone else is doing pink too. So it's not even like I could turn to another new release and be like, I want this, unless I want orange, which I you, I'd have no issue finding an orange no. anything. But I just feel like there, I feel like there has to be something that's not these two things, because it's like warm and glowy or pink. I feel like they're. I don't understand. So this eyeshadow palette is teen tea. Teen tea tiny. Who is that showing up on? Barely us. Teen tea tiny. There is nary a shade for a person who has any kind of pigment in their skin. If you have any I, kind It of... also doesn't come off very pink to me. I think they all have like a pinky shift. Mm. There were swatches somewhere, but it also like, they were so light. It did not warrant me putting it in a... I'm all okay with like the the lip balms that are pinky or yeah, whatever. whatever, whatever. But I this is that barely registers as a thing for me. And I don't. Need, why does the cleansing oil need to be pink? She she what she has that foaming like makeup remover and it's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. But this but it's this? unnecessary. You do not need to spend. I'm sure an astronomical. That is the amount. other thing is Bobby Brown's like kind of expensive. It's very expensive. And it's like, girl, why? There's like there. The thing was, the thing is, they have like hero products, and they're the kind of hero products when you're smart, you make a hero product that needs a high repurchase rate. The primer is sixty-two doll hairs, and if you use it consistently, if you wear makeup every day and you're wearing that primer every day, you're probably using it like once every month, once every two months, depending on how fast you're using it, how much you're putting on your face. You have to go buy that every sixty-two doll hairs every two months, every month. I do like the primer. It is. Very and nice. they are the under eye corrector that I use also. Right. Under eye corrector is like one of their other big Which products. is like works yes. beautifully. And like I will say. And again. And then her gel pot liner. Under eye. Which right. like you would never really need to re-up on a gel. Like that's a lot of eyeliner. Unless you're I don't know. It. But people would do it. I don't know. So like this is like whatever. It also was released in Japan. So who knows if it's even coming to America. I think it's not. Interesting. Because those, those are. I feel like Japanese clientele. This would be show, show up on. Right, but, skin tone yeah, wise. Yeah, so I just don't. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I hate it. This does not inspire. I think I'm beat on this one. Or unless same shit, new packaging. It, it. I feel like that's very. That feels very specific to me and us because like we've been following Pat McGrath's like rose thing for like a too long of a time. Too long. And so it feels like the same trauma. shit, new packaging. But I don't think Bobby Brown's putting out a bunch of pink shit You're right probably now. Right. So I don't. Think I think that, that's very fair and balanced. Yeah. yeah. So I think that I there's. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. it moving. Ooh. So this is, whoa, this is from Linda Helberg Cosmetics or LH Cosmetics. I'm not sure which one's the right one because they started as one, went to another one and came back. So I don't know. But it's like Linda Helberg. This is her brand. Uh, it is the color palette. It has 12 vibrant shades. They appear to be all matte, maybe. I'm going to let you know that I'm already crossing off another rainbow palette. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Did it. It's done. Uh... I would love to have your perspective on, cause I'm going to mark it off as another rainbow palette too, because I feel like every time I do one of these, I talk about how I just like, I fulfilled my rainbow palette quota and I just am kind of like over 
Because once you have one, that's no. it. Unless you have one that's matte and you need some shimmers and you want some rainbow shimmers and you want a rainbow shimmer palette. Right. Go ahead. Which like, Pop I mean, you yeah, can that's like do, one. but I don't I also know. don't really love rainbow shimmers. Me neither. Yeah, because I historically no. Uh how much is this? Ooh, I do not know. It's okay. I'll Google it while you So this is like a nice, solid, concise rainbow palette. Mm -hmm. Uh, I find that a lot of issues with rainbow palettes are that there's like shades within the rainbow that then like kind of bulk up the price and size of the palette while like counteracting how usable it is. This is $46 in, so 46, 50 pounds. Oh. So in America, this would be like 70 some dollars. No. No. But go on with what you were saying, because I feel like the same way. Like, this is so like... So, like, this is concise. This has everything that you would need to build a look. But are you going to build one look start to finish with just this palette, though? No. I have actually... I am I am into the point where, like, I don't mind a companion palette because I have a lot of singles. I use... I almost always will use multiple palettes. <laughs> most of the time. Always? No. But most of the time. I have no qualms with that. However... Mm -hmm. Because this doesn't have any other, like it's, it's, I guess it's a, a double-edged sword because this is very concise rainbow palette wise, but also it is additionally, essentially Roy G. Bib with a couple, there's some neutrals in there. Exactly. However, it's like, you're going to have to reach for something else for a little bit more dimension mm -hmm. if you want to step outside of adding brown or black. So then like, what does that mean when the yeah. price point is as such? I would suggest. Instead of buying a rainbow palette, you buy the three colors of the rainbow that you really want as singles, go from there. Because yeah, even though it might be more expensive, like long term, you're going to buy the shades that you want instead of being stuck Controversial with yet brave. If you're starting out and, call, and rainbow is where you need to be, which I understand. I just want to let you know, I've lived that life. <laughs> I was there. I had to walk that walk. I had to go into that dark night of the soul where, like, all I cared about was rainbow colors. Purple and pink is still, like, a very familiar place for me to be when I'm stressed out and I don't know what to do with my face. Or, like, when your friend is, like, be on my YouTube channel and, like, you try to look <laughs> glam and, like, you just, like, don't have the mental capacity on a Saturday morning. You, like, default to what you know you know. I just was letting you know that I was going glam. So right. Like, I Which I appreciate. <laughs> you did the right thing. But... But, like, it is a very comfortable place for me to be. But you find, no, you know what you do? ColourPop has that one rainbow palette that is, like, bigger, but it's still, like, 30-ish bucks or something. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple shimmers in there and, like, pre pressed glitter shades. Someone that I know just got it, mm -hmm. and they're newer to makeup and have found that it's very easy to use. Do that. Because then you start to play with color on your face and you see what speaks to you and then do what Tom said. Because I understand like wanting to try it all. Yeah. Color wheel wise. I get that. Now is this the way you want to do it? Mm, it's too expensive. I don't know. I, I would also, say it's probably I'm... pretty expensive. Unless if this is like so I like you're to... a high end bitch and like you do color all the time. But even then this is just matte. So it's like what are we doing? So I'm, now I'm like feeling a little bit contradictive, but so LH Cosmetics, it so far they've done like neutral, maybe a little bit rosy for their stuff, and they're they do like typically like eight pan big round palettes where it's like it could be a face product, it could be that's kind of fun, right? Which I always thought was kind of like useful, but this, this so I don't know what they're they're shooting for with this. I just I don't think people I young people would, are gonna buy this. I would buy this were it not that price point. Because having pops of color that are mattes mm -hmm. make them more easy to use in my mind with yeah. the way that I structure my eye looks at this point in my life. And like you said, like, I will use a companion palette. Right. So from that standpoint, like, it would make sense for me to own this. However, it's still cost prohibitive. I think I've pre presented, like, four different opinions about this. <laughs> However, <laughs> I guess what I'm saying to you, the viewer... Is if you're starting out, this is not the rainbow palette for you. Yeah. Because this is this is crazy. Because the the cost the entry point cost wise is just 
It's too much. It feels like a lot. I like the idea of this. I like the execution, I think, but the, pr the price point is just... I was, kind of, I was like trying to shit talk this price point, but I have bought Viseart palettes, which I imagine like in American dollars, this is about the same price. <gasps> but so. Viseart is, but that feels very different because with Viseart, there was the, even if it's not a vision, there's a color story. There's multiple yeah. finishes within it. Like, not, it's not a in those a traditional thing. twelve. No, pan not right. in the twelve pans, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, there's well, the there is the, a purpose and a function, and that's what you're paying for because you're getting the performance. So, I don't know about her. But if you do want a rainbow palette, there's like so many options. You don't have to live and die by this one. No, this is just like, if you have money and you like color makeup, this seems fine. If you want to start using color, don't start here. No. I think that's the TLDR. I would say that's like it. where I've ended up. Yeah. You know, I don't even have like a, a really true rainbow palette. No, but you've collected things over but there. But I and have you not things afraid of color. smatterings of other things and I still have the Urban Decay Electric Palette, the OG. I, and I use her from time to time. I got rid of mine. Uh, oh my god, it's color popped again. Okay, but listen. Speaking I'm of... I'm going to stop you right there before you start saying that people should buy this instead. No, I'm not saying Go. that. But I'm saying, to your point though, like yeah. if you know you like a particular color, yeah. this is a great option. Because like, this does that, but yeah. it's not the 12 pan like fantasies that they have, which is like, feels like a lot. Okay. These are $10 each. Let's think about those four pre Oh, pods. that's stupid. Why do they price things the way that <laughs> they do? I have no idea. I don't understand. I would have preferred I... to talk about the hourglass thing. This is so confusing. The, right. So these are $10, which you get one more shade than you do in the quads. Why are the quads the price that they are? No one, someone tell me. If they were $8, it would make more sense because everything's $2. And then those $2. bigger palettes, which I assume are the 12, the 12 yeah, pans. They like have said, smaller pans. Are... They're yes. round. <laughs> <laughs> and they take I don't know what gap this is filling in their collection Colourpop. of things that you could purchase from ColourPop. I think that they need to I, I mean everyone thinks they need to slow down. I don't want to be mad at them. Like I don't want to be a an elitist consumer. I don't know. There's not okay. There's nothing wrong with ColourPop's line. There really isn't, but they are they need to they don't need to be releasing things every five seconds. But here's the thing, none of them And they already have sense. monochrome palettes. I love these in theory, though. But, like, it does not make sense. Do you? Because uh, why is the blue one kind of minty? I don't know. I don't know. And I saw someone swatch them in, like, color palettes. There are 12 pans that are $16 and some that are 18 Okay. And I think it depends on the licensing. <laughs> That makes sense. Don't. What about the monochrome palettes? Do they don't have them? That's anymore? where I'm going. Okay. I'm trying to scroll to. Because I just wanted to like look and see. To, like try to Anyway, understand. I... Oh, they do have some of them left. Okay, so. Six. They're nine. So the top, like nine that's pans. taupe yeah. is nine pans. How much is it? Fourteen. So like what the fuck are we doing? I don't Make know. it make sense. I I, I don't know. Also, And like, then they have these other things that look like the things that they're releasing already, but in, like, neutral what you, colors. What do you mean? Look, like, I scrolled down further on the website. So those are older. Yes, They're right. supposed to dupe. They look like dupes for the Tasha Denota five pan. Oh, palettes. okay. I think these are this the same. This is why. This is why. This is why. This is why you have the reputation that you do, honey. Because, like, what are you doing? Why are we doing this? I just think that, like, they feel... I feel like ColourPop... But I was watching... I've been watching makeup release videos from 2017. That's, like, my new journey that I'm on. Because it was around the time where I was, like, really getting into makeup. Like, the heat of the moment. And people then... I don't remember ColourPop being as popping off as they are now. Even then, people were like, ColourPop needs to slow down. So this has been going on for four years. For four years, people have been saying ColourPop slow down. And they only did because of the pandemic and California shut down. That was like the only moment in time. I'm so scared for them. I just feel Also, confused. they only, like, they kind of like, when was the last time they did like a, 
I don't really like the color shock shadows, but like that was their OG thing. And I feel like they just kind of threw them to the side. Like I feel confused. I feel scared. I feel unsafe. I don't understand what's going on around me. I don't understand how I'm supposed to feel about this. Am I supposed to be excited? Mm. Is this for the casual wear? Is this for somebody who's like a collector, I guess? Could you imagine for a moment if your thing was collecting color box? No, but they exist. If you're watching this video. I don't doubt that. I like salute you in all the things that you do. Well, here's the thing that gets me about some people. I'm, I'm sure this is not anyone who, like, I'm not generalizing everyone who collects ColourPop. But I know there are people who are out there who are like, I saved so much money buying all the ColourPop things. You don't. And I'm like, I only had to buy this once. You know what I mean? You don't though. <laughs> because everything, there's so much crossover there's so, so much, much crossover. Right. A lot of these things look like they're the same thing. I'm shocked and appalled. It's not good. It's bad. This is, I, I, have you ever, I have never used the powder ColourPop shadows. I used, I had a, I had some super shock, super shocks. I remember you ended up giving the them back. to me and then I never used them and then I gave them to someone else. So there's, that's, that's that the works. journey. Yeah. But I did like, the one that I had of them. But I also think that those kind of are passe because ev people figured out how to make highly pigmented shadows and shimmers. Yeah, you don't have to do all that. Do all that. I, I don't have anything. No, I don't think I do under. either. Wow, I'm like worried about them. <laughs> like what is your... Like, I know I don't need to be worried about them because like they're, they're a major brand or they're gonna be okay. What, what do you mean you're concerned? I'm just like them? concerned. Like what is the end game here? What is the unifying vision under which you are operating your company and releasing your product? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what are what is your goal? What do you do successfully? I I just am so I think I'm so tired because I think so ColourPop, based on what I know of like all their stuff, is like fine. And I'm tired of talking about mediocrity. <laughs> Like, I really am. I'm so tired Honestly, of it. Honestly, brave. Brave. <laughs> brave. <laughs> brave. That's how I feel about ColourPop, though. It's brave like, I'm just like, you really to say. Tired of talking about mediocrity. And I, listen, I have, there are things that I have bought and found that I thought I was going to love that, like, didn't turn out. But, like. I just want to let you know right now that I just felt this huge crushing wave of love for you. What? Because this is, like, that moment. It's just like one of the reasons, like one of the tentpole reasons why I love you so much. What? Oh, me just saying just, that I'm tired of talking yes. about mediocrity in reference like, to color. I am done rewarding people for doing the bare minimum. Because I, that's like what color pop feels like to me at this point. I just like, I like can't even, I just like can't even formulate the words properly. I just, my heart. Are you ready to talk about something that's not color May pop? we all strive to live our lives in that way. Like, it might come to the point where I might ban talking about ColourPop on my channel. Like, I'm, I'm just like so done with we it. We will no longer accept. Yeah, like, I will have to, re and when I play No Makeup Nonsense Bingo, I'm going to have to, like, remove the ColourPop options because I'm, I'm, I don't think any of it's going to be good. If there is something that piques my interest, I'll talk about it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I truly don't think it's ever going to happen. Not again. Like, they got me in the past, but it won't happen again. So, this is the Muse Beauté, Muse Beauty. Rococo, wait, hold on. Rococo? This is the Rococo collection that launches April 26th. I don't know what today is. It should be coming soon. It's the 24th, I think. Uh, I don't know. There's like not a lot about this collection yet. I don't know a lot about Muse Beauty. The I've packaging all... is. They have, so they did the, blurry. they did like a, they've been, all of their releases have been like styles of art releases. So they did like the, they had a Van Gogh, they had like Starry Night on the cover of one of their palettes, but it was called the whatever that style is, which I cannot remember. The nope, name of. couldn't tell you. Uh, I took art history my freshman year. It was the hardest class I ever took. And I like, I actually mean that, like it was a very hard class. I believe it. Yeah, it was hard. So. It and, looks like a pastel. It does look past. We like at this juncture, what photos we're looking at, they're like small. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like peaked by my interest is peaked by a pastels. I don't believe that I have like a pastel mom in my collection, besides like the little capsule mm -hmm. that you gave me from Sugar Pill. 
Like that has some pastels in it. Mm -hmm. And I think a few other things in my collection might have a pan or two. So I've been like, that pastels have been on my radar. So like this is interesting. It doesn't, Ish. does it look all matte to you? It does look all matte to me, except for maybe that like coral shade. Maybe. So I also, so there's cream something. I don't know if these are blushes or lip products. And depending on what the answer to that is, depends, will depend on how we'll I change. feel about them. We'll yeah. change. Yes. If they're lip products, get it out of my face. I do not care. If those are blushes, if those are cheek things, I want all of them. They're all, they're all warm leaning, which I love on my cheeks. Although today I'm wearing a hot pink, which I haven't done in a long time. I like pink on my cheeks. Brave. Brave. <laughs> and also blue highlighter, so, you know, I'm making choices. <laughs> Brave. <laughs> but they all, and I, I mean, I'm not the one time where I like opened up my favorites on Sephora and I had the deep face <laughs> I opened it. I was like, I wanted to edit it out so bad. I was like, I have to leave this in. I have to put it at the end because this is so You have funny. to let your darkness yeah. show. I truly believe that I, this was it. This made sense for me. I like this green lip, what I assume is a lip product. Like, we see, don't really... I thought that was liquid eyeshadow. Ooh, if it's eyeshadow, see, it's like too many questions. I have too many questions about it to make a formal opinion about how I feel about I'm going to need you to tell me more. Uh... So I used to have the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D and I gave it to Jenny because she does a lot of colorful looks too, but she was like, I need colorful transitions. And I was like, gotcha. So this could be a good... Yeah. So if you are someone who does wear a lot of... Oh, if you wear purple and green or in like pinks and you want something to do transition, mm -hmm. this looks like solid. Yeah. I'm not like mad at this, but mm -hmm. I'm not particularly in, like excited and like want to spend money on this. And maybe the cheek products, but I... The last thing I need right now is a new I feel product. as though Drunk Me would buy it. Mm, I haven't even started looking at the thing. Uh, I think that that's my truth during sale time for the, the spring sales event Sephora at Sephora. Thing, yeah. The Huda Mercury and Retrograde Mercury Retrograde whatever Wasn't it's Wasn't it marked down and then you got the sale on top of the markdown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like I almost bought it because at one point it was like marked down to $40 for no reason. Like it just yes. was on sale. I like and then this was when we still worked it. there. So we got like an extra discount. And I was like, is it worth $28? I was like asking, I was like, should I buy this for $28? And you know who bought it? Allison. And she like never regretted it. Nope. And I, I swear to God, I almost bought it. And this like very much has that Similar vibe. vibes. Yeah. Yep. So I would, I would, mm, I would probably buy it. I really this. wish there was a press glitter in it so I could put it. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. A thing to put this that on is there. okay okay and that was nice to not have like something super terrible to say i feel like we like really went into color i know i'm so sorry i'm not so oh I'm not. oh have you seen this i have i so <laughs> this is the marilyn monroe collection by bessemay this is collection the most beautiful packaging it is i have intensely beautiful it's upsetting because i saw this and i was like I don't even I don't even know that I want the makeup inside of it. I want this to put on top of my vanity. Tea. But want to hear some shit? What? I looked into this because I was like I I'll, I'll buy one thing. Like as I was like I just want one thing from the collection. Tell me what. <laughs> my brother texting us Mercury retrograde comics while we're in the middle of this. I can't. Uh, you. You must buy them in sets. No. Yeah, so, well, okay, you could buy, sorry, there was, like, you could buy one lipstick, one of the shades of the lipstick by itself, but do you see how they're packaged there? That's how they come. So you buy that thing for $105. So yeah. it's, like, I'm mad that I can't buy, because I, I don't want the powder in the compact, but I want the compact. Yes. And I don't, I don't know that best, I've never looked into their stuff. I know the Me brand. Either. I've, like, heard people talk about the brand before. It is, like, so intensely beautiful. The, yes, it is. It is. You're like, I am like, I want it. Like, I'm like, do I buy it and split with people? Like, do we all like take something and what are we fighting over? The only thing that I wish they would have done, I think what could have done this, this is like, it's not even makeup related. If they would have done like a retro style hand mirror, not a compact and you could buy it by yourself, I think people would have bought that. But I think that there's going to be a lot of hesitation. This is tough. This is tough. Selling it only in sets feels very Yeah, so fair. the Essential Maryland Collection and then the Compact and Lipstick set. So, like, it's just... 
it's sad that you have to why a white eyeliner pencil because you put it in the waterline make your eyes look bigger oh yeah i just like especially i think that's like a very like old school thing now they make like linen shades to put in your uh waterline like the makeup by mario one is like a i guess so i like am sort of over the whole (sighs) making your eyes look no (laughs) Like no, the idea that. of like a collection from a thing, so like the Lizzie McGuire collection, the Marie okay. from the Aristocrats collection. So I think this one's like special. But like this, this one, is, yes. And it was done right. This was done correctly. Yeah. So I must so give them other brands. Credit. Pop. Look at this. This is what we want. I wish and you I could want it for buy $5. It. <laughs> yeah, I wish you could buy it for like. The eyeshadow palette is also a beautiful packaging. I think that the it's... The lipsticks are beautiful. The little diamond diamantes yes. on top. It's so pretty. There's so much stuff in the collection. It is just such a damn is shame. Is this a true ca- cash grab? Because I, of the way they're bundling it. I'm going to say Drunk Me would buy it. You already used that one. But I you did. could definitely... I think that a lot... What I've seen people talk about this, everyone's excited about this packaging. So I think a true crash grab is like absolutely a place you could put this on. I think I'm gonna. Can I also uh, just put it out into the universe that I would love for Audrey to get this this kind of like treatment? Can we get an well, maybe, Audrey Hepburn Here's what I'm thinking. Moment. This is probably gonna sell well, and then they're probably gonna be like, we're gonna do a bunch of antique looking makeup. I would buy every single piece of it. The eye contour duos from KKW Beauty. Uh, specially designed to sculpt and contour the eyes. These easy to use powder duos have soft and creamy formulas that blend easily into the skin using the dual eye contour brush. Okay, here's the thing. Stay with me. I'm not gonna buy these because I don't need these. I do know who these are for. It's just not us. Because one, if like, I okay. KK, Miss Kim has a, a slew of people who probably buy her makeup that aren't like super into makeup, like we are into makeup. And Kim Kardashian is clearly selling to a specific person. Everything is nudie. It's all about sh- reef shaping. Why are there two face. shades? Two shades. You have a crease shade and then you have like a lid shade. I don't understand. It. You could do this with bronzer if you. Do are, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't understand. I'm trying to. I'm trying to explain to you. Like I wanted to get mad at first, right? But people who do not have an extensive makeup collection aren't going to think of how to do this with what they have. Sure. But this almost feels like too simple for even the common person to be like... No, these are just people who want to contour their face. They want to do it on the eye. It's done. It's Kim is all about like a clean nude look. These make sense. Okay. I, do I want them? No. No. Do I think that these are like a, a crime? Yes. It feels, uh, yeah. it feels wrong. <laughs> it does. I think that the price point is too high. I would say cut the price in half and then like they're, they would, they'd be feel less offensive. I just, yeah, I don't know. Hi. Hello. I just don't understand. I think you're allowed to not understand. I don't think that deepest one goes deep enough, but that's fine. That's fine. Like she normally does hers in like four, like her, whenever she does like Mm -hmm. things that need different skin tones, she'll do like. Light, at least like fair. yeah at least four. a shade like a range yeah yeah these are just so simple they confuse me yeah i don't think anyone should buy this by the way no. i'm just saying that don't pretend that there isn't a clientele for this which i know i of, won't do that but i, but think, I think, think there are people who dismiss so simple it, it's shocking for me yeah but i mean like go off if this is your thing i guess i will mark this as my true crash tra- cash grab that's a good that's a good spot for it. Hi, Ryan. Do you have anything that you're gonna put it under? I don't think. I feel like it's not I don't know that it's the same shit new packaging situation. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe that this belongs anywhere with the options that I have left. We love hourglass. The Velvet Story lip cream. I will say triggered by the range, which is all nudes in the rose family. <laughs> uh, I don't mind a rosy nude, but I prefer a brown nude. Yes. That's my preference. I, I, I think this is like a test run. I think they're like, here's six Here's shades. a couple, yeah. See a- if people like the formula, so- should we bother making, because I did, I for the first time ever tried one of the thin lipsticks on my lips and I bought it. Oh, did it. you? 
I have the the red one, right? It is nice. Yes. It's comfortable, but you can feel it like it's going to stay on your lips for a while. Like, it feels like there's some longevity. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be transfer proof because it's not even designed to be transfer proof, but it's, like, comfortable. Mm. And it's, like, one of those ones where you swipe it on and, like, the pigment's already there. No building it up. Beautiful. So this is billed as featherweight lip mousse that delivers a diffused, soft, focused matte finish with a a velvety texture for comfortable wear. The whip texture goes on smoothly, make a cushiony, velvety feel. Yeah. So that sounds great for me. Yeah, I think I would, in theory, I would, I would want this. I would I, too. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to run out and buy them. They're $36, which is like not the worst, but I am historically a cheap lip queen because my thing is like, I'm well, going to have to fix it. This is like... I mean, I don't know. It's not the worst, it's, but like again, I'm me personally. Unless if it is like a lipstick, maybe then I, I guess is. that I can kind of justify that a little bit. It's more. not like just like a lip gloss, right? Well, but I'm I don't know. I'm I'm thinking this through with you. It's I would wait. This is like me being very picky. I would wait for this to go to, um, like Nigel Beauty or Friends Beauty, where I can get forty percent off of Hourglass at all times. I think it'll be, it'll take a minute for that to trickle down to them. And that's when I would snag it. I would pay whatever, you know, like $18 for it as opposed to 36. Right. Exactly. Yeah, so. Though when I'm intrigued. Yeah. Beautiful. It looks, I, they look lovely. Yeah. And I love, I, I do love, I do in, quite enjoy a nude and I do like the nudes and a rose, a rose tone. Yeah. I'm going to put this on, put it on my face, because I would like it to be on my face. I'm not quite there yet. I can't, I can't, I can't go down that path, so I'm going to, I'm going to not, this does not. Do you not, not have put it on my face? I do, want... but like, it doesn't, doesn't it doesn't scream. take me there. This is the Chantecai Spring uh, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder and the Flower Power Cheek Shade. I have to be honest, I already bought the blur. <laughs> <laughs> the blurring powder? I did. Okay, let me explain. Everybody, stop. stop. Teresa's dad loves it. Correct. And so does Michelle Wong. And it, it, ha- it, was, it was limited edition. I just bought the blurring under eye powder by Pat. I also have that, but mine's been in my collection for a minute, so it's not yeah, like Yeah, like I just got that. Here's the thing. I, I like... I have... I started because I'm trying to be more responsible for my makeup collection, right? And I, I like luxury makeup, so, like, this is not all the realm of possibility for me. Like, that's not... I'm not saying that it is. The thing is, I have, like, a ranking. When I see something that I want, I put it in the ranks. So, like, if I'm going to buy a makeup product, this is the next thing. This has been at number one, but it's, like, they, they had been... They had told Michelle and Teresa, because they both get PR from Chantikai, that it was coming back, but they, like... They didn't say when or how. And it also says it's in limited edition packaging. I don't know if that means it's permanent and its packaging is limited edition. I just wanted to try it. I was just like, I have to try it. <laughs> there's no I way that two of my favorite... you get it. There's Do you no know what way, I mean? Yeah. There's no way that two of my favorite YouTubers who I trust their opinion on, like, are lying to me. The compact I just, looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Uh, it looks actually, like, more beautiful than... Because it's 3D. Like, I know. That's what I was just noticing. And Shantikai always, like, donates money to things. But also, this is the first time that the blurring powder is coming in two shades. There's a medium, like, there's a deeper one. I don't know. I can't speak to how well that's going to perform on someone with deeper skin tone. But I do appreciate the effort to, like, expand the line expand a little bit. Expand the range. Uh, the blush, I don't care for about at all. I don't care about at all. I know. I was going to be surprised. I No, I did buy the blurring powder, though. It was, it, it was one of those things. It... Because it's in pre-order, it said limited edition. It's like, I just, like, I will regret if, like, this for some reason goes away forever. And then I didn't get to try yeah. it. It's that one makes of... sense. That's your journey. Yeah. Those are your queens. Like... They are. You know? So, I'm... Um, mine... This is already... What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I'm, like... My interest is peaked. Mm-hmm. Shantikai confuses me. We can talk about that for a second. Because, because I... Because you bought that thing. And the, like, the packaging was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then you opened it. The and the pans so are like literally the the size of the tip of my pinky. Yeah. Like the pad of my pinky is the size of the pans. The, and I'm so I'm watching those old YouTube videos. There they were showing like the because they always do like a seasonal quad and then they have like two quads that are permanent. The the quads back then they were like square pans and took up the whole compact. And I was like, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit chipped. <laughs> 
beats on like what I just bought. The the thing that I would I would not buy the eyeshadows again. They they perform very well, but like it was like way too expensive for what it was. But like if a face powder is gonna literally get rid of my pores, as Teresa has promised me, I will pay top dollar. I'll tell you for what, that. if it if it performs that way, yeah. I will buy it to put all over my face. Yeah. But then I'm like, if I like it, I will buy a second one. I will just have it. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. You just don't know. Because I do, I like the Pat McGrath blurring one, but I was like, I think we could do better. Because I feel like it's finicky. Because I, I would agree. Yeah. So. If conditions are not right, yeah. you don't put like that exact right amount of product yeah. on. It's going one way or yes. the other. I would agree. Do you have somewhere you want to put this? I do not. The Suku pre-summer collection launches on, well, two days ago. Yeah, it's already launched. So they're it, quads. There are two quads and two blushes. <gasps> but they're pretty. Okay, the the two actually everything about this collection is beautiful. I like have zero qualms with this, and like I have the most makeup in the world. I don't. There's nothing about this that makes me feel like I need Which to. Which one pull. do you like? Well, I want the orange blush. Obviously, like if I'm buying one of these blushes, it's that orange one. And I did look into it. It's 40 US dollars, but you had to buy it through Selfridges because it's like not a brand that actually sells in America. So you like right. buy it through Selfridges and they ship it to you. Um, I would get this quad. I like that color up in the corner there. But actually in both quads, that color looks the same. It does look exactly the same. So you're kind of basically playing with fire. You you could go with the warm ones with the same duochrome. I'm so Or confused. you could go with the first. I actually think these are gorgeous. I think they're really pretty. I just don't. And the blushes were $40, which was cheaper than I was expecting. Yeah, these yeah. all look very lovely. I yeah. don't know that it's my journey to take. Yeah, like, but I mean, for me to look at an eyeshadow quad that like, and get excited about it, like, I'm very, it's so hard for me to get super excited about makeup anymore. Because I am at a place where my, I'm like very happy with at least specifically my eyeshadow collection, I feel like. It's going to be a tough sell for me to want to like fork out. A Feel ton of some money. type of yeah. way about it. Yeah. Yeah. The orange blush really, it, it was the, when I saw this collection initially, I was like, I, I need that. I don't need it. But it is stunning. Stunning. No, I'm okay with her. I have no qualms or complaints, but not my journey. So I don't believe I have a spot for her either Ooh. okay so this is from kaleidos makeup it's the flower pup collection it launches april 28th um shipping starts may 5th i don't have any i don't have details about pricing I looked they up... just announced this oh like today i think correct well this was while you were there was a whole starbucks debacle that happened when tiffany was on her way here uh i saw this <laughs> and i will tell you what i want i would i would buy this I would also buy this. Like, put this on my face. This? That is how I feel. Like, well, this is such an interesting... This is so interesting. The... I love... Okay. Hold on. You are a green eyeshadow wearing well, ass hold on, hold on, bitch hold on. right now. Hold on. I just love green eyeshadow. I want it on my face all the time. Uh, okay. So, let's talk about these for a second. Okay. Ugh. So, Natasha Denona Stunning. has these little eyeshadow palettes, right? There's... This is the mini Zendo greens and mm -hmm. pinks and then they also have the mini retro which is greens and pinks and like i want these to be a full-size natasha denona eyeshadow palette but i think kaleidos just did it they did uh here's the thing though <laughs> i it looks like a melt palette which is weird <laughs> it does a little it bit it does not it's not in the same kaleidos packaging that no. they released their other two shadows and i actually i've been my eye has been on this brand for a moment because I like is what this, they do. You think do. when you're gonna pull the trigger on? Potentially, I think that this is like interesting enough. I want to know what the lip products look like or whatever is in those tubes. Yeah, which I assume are lip products. Yeah, I like. I am vibing. I'm gonna put this. Put the put it on my face. But yeah, I love Easily. the greens and pinks together. Mm -hmm. This could potentially be the first thing I buy from Kaleidos. It's beautiful. I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavily. I, I, I like it. What is <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, da, da, de, de, boo, 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 boo. Is it gonna get a place for you? No. Beauty is Sigma Beauty are expanding their Cor de Rosa collection with a new blush palette and a trio of brushes. These are like fine. These look fine. Mm, I'm pulling it open. I'm, they're all pink. 
It looks yeah. like that Jouer palette that you have. Which is exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, I already own this. <laughs> it doesn't have an orange in it, though. Yours, the one you Mine have Mine has an orange, orange in it. I oh, think that these are... There's two... It feels like... When I... you Six pan blush palettes, like, they should stop that. Unless you're a, a literal lot. makeup artist, you don't need. Most well, people unless don't. the blushes are all extremely different. But this is this is not that. Of, yeah, no, this, this is, is like almost all the same. Yeah, I will say like the darkest one, of course, is like the prettiest, and it has like looks like it has like a shimmer to it. Uh, but yeah, again, it's just like pink, all pink everything. So I'm like over it. Yeah, why are we doing this? So I'm gonna do the same shit new packaging because it looks just like the Jue one. I agree. Ooh. We've been talking about makeup for an hour and a half. No. This is the L'Oreal and Eli Saab or Ellie Saab. I actually don't know. There is a nine pan palette, which appears to be all shimmers or satin finishes. Satin. Uh so three lipsticks and then three of the lightest nude shades I've ever seen. Like two concealer lips and then one mauve. Those frighten me. Though those are scary. Unless they're not super pigmented and it's like a wash. The packaging is really pretty. The packaging is pretty. And I assume that's mostly what the collaboration was. Whom's just Ellie saw? Let me look up because I don't know. Let's see what let's see what their deal is. Whom's are they? I, why do I think they're a fashion? Are you looking it up? No, but I will. Fashion, Lebanese fashion designer. I was like, why do I think they are? So it sounds like someone who's not known for their makeup. That's what I'm going to put it at. I will say the palette is actually really pretty. It's like very it's basic. Pretty. But. How utterly confusing. What? Just all of it. For one, it's like a fashion designer and then it's like L'Oreal. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like how if it was utterly like... confusing. This is <laughs> the PhD hybrid lip oil stain <laughs> by House Labs. <laughs> This is a mess. Lip softening oil delivers a sheer supple shine before it soaks in for a true to you tint brought out by your unique pH. I just need you. Because when you think of a pH matching thing, it's pink. All of these all of swatch pink. pink. It's, all of it. it's all pink. It looks orange in the bottom. Why are we doing this? Like Too Faced came out with those like products right when we were like still at Sephora that also reacted to your pH. Like This is like the mood ring of makeup. Why do we need to do it? That's, we don't need to do it. The scary thing is, like, every brand has this. Not, like, lip oil, but they have... Dior has them. Givenchy has them. I don't need it. Who asked for this? I, you know what? I don't think YSL does, so props to them. Uh, it Cosmetics has them. <sighs> <coughs> when there's five... So you, we didn't need five shades of this. You could have done a clear and then the pink one. I you don't know, understand you, why you're doing this to me. And there are... $24. You can go get one of those Jaclyn Hill eye brightening. They are all brightening. pink. They're all pink. <laughs> you could go get a Jaclyn Hill palette you for could. the same price as one of these. You really could. Okay, I'm not, I have not, not talked about House Labs in any capacity on my channel, in any, but like what is happening? Why is it with Amazon? What is going on Lady Gaga? I, I just need a statement, like because this is what I'm <laughs> casting. And I don't I know people love Lady Gaga, right? And like want to support her and buy her. But you you are fooling yourself if this is the makeup line that you think that should have come from Lady Gaga. It is not it. All like it okay, and also, okay, so here's another thing. Here's another thing that I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about Lady Gaga actually a lot recently, and I don't know why. It's like I'm on a I'm on a journey with Lady Gaga right now. Don't know what's going on. But Art Pop is like having this resurgence. It is. It's having in whatever. Just tease for Art Pop. I don't care for art pop. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like not my, not it's not you. for me. There are songs that I like on it. I actually put Venus on the other day. I was like, this is a bop. So good. It's a bop. So good. And just the, the way it sounds is kind of crazy. It sounds crazy. It's chaotic. It, yeah. <laughs> Venus! Which it's like, what? <laughs> There's Enjoy a lot that. of sounds. Yeah. Which historically we are fans I, of. <laughs> we are. Go listen to our, any podcast. Any about podcast it. where we talk about literally anything, sounds come up regularly. <laughs> If the next release from this brand that is an eyeshadow is not an art pop eyeshadow, which is just fucking sickeningly bright colors, like some multi-chromes in there. You're fucking up. 
I'm done. I'm you're done not, trying to. I'm done. You're I will not put, paying attention. I will put an embargo on Housewives on my channel too. Because again, I'm done celebrating mediocrity on this channel. Honestly? It's bad. But I'm going to put this under the lip gloss thing because it feels like a lip gloss. All right. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm so confused and like disappointed. The, it's But it's like, like I have been though. It's disappointment from start to where we are. You pick to like do your thing with Amazon, which is a fucking choice, especially a someone choice. who is as progressive as Lady Gaga is. You pick Jeff Bezos's company to put out your makeup brand exclusively through. It goes only through them. It's not like you are like selling at Ulta and it also on Amazon. Cause like whatever that would, but like you like chose Double to down. partner with Amazon and then have the audacity. I'm not saying that Lady Gaga is not progressive. I'm like, that's not like what I think. Go on the campaign trail with Joe Biden while we're trying to bring down capitalism. But you're selling your makeup brand? <laughs> Which is it, sis? <laughs> Which is it, sis? It just is too confusing. And like, you can't afford to do your own makeup brand and sell and ship out of your own factory. Like, I don't I understand. I just forget that it exists most of the time. Uh, it's easy to. It's a very non, it's, it's a non-entity. So this is from Sleek. It is the Control-Alt Collection. So there is the eyeshadow palette, which is 13 pounds, which like, that's not actually a broad price. I know that Sleek is like a drugstore European or British. I'm but not I'm quite sure. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then there's the control. The highlighting palette has me, I'm like looking at that. Very interesting choices being yeah. made. There's like a mint. And also who knows how pigmented they are. They look, the highlighters actually look like they'd be great on very deep skin tones mm -hmm. based on the, in pan. But you never know with the highlighter because sometimes in pan it's like one thing. This is that scratching that like pastel itch. Mm. The eyeshadow palette, it's like fine. It reminds me of that Artist Couture palette. It like very much has those, mm -hmm. but it has more pans mm -hmm. than the Artist Couture one does, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, I'm not mad at anything that's happening here. No, I'm not upset. That was so I, interesting. If I were, I, I know it's hard to get sleek in the US. So like, I'm not like going out of my way to try to find any of this. I would love to try it. I wish I were easy to get. Because the high, sh the, I want to swatch that highlighter palette. Yeah. I want to see swatches of that. Also. I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to keep my eye out. the photo. Um, no, I'm going to keep my eye, I'm going to keep my eye out for you. Um. I want to know you. Can you show me? I'm going to put this actually as major copycat vibes because it did kind of remind me of that artist couture one like a lot. I. You got nothing? No. I'm fully vaccinated, just in case it needs to be said, you know, three quarters of the way through the video. Well, we've been in each other's business. We've oh, been in each other's yeah. bubbles yeah. since the jump, but yeah. I am also vaccinated. Like, just to, before when, you see me cough on camera. When Pennsylvania was actually in lockdown, we did not see each other for three no, months. We sure didn't. Which and was like really sad. <laughs> it was. We were doing, we were doing like what we could, but it was like still tough. This. Oh, read it. It just gets more confusing. Uh, it's a collaboration between Elf and Jenna, Jen, Jen Atkin, Atkin hair. Who creates Way. Way is Jen Atkin's brand. What? She's also married to Mike Rosenthal, which was like someone who was a photographer a lot on America's Next Top Model. It's a lot. Like when you think about them. What? Yeah. So <laughs> there's like two different eyeshadow palettes. Is that two? Looks like two. Are those flat pencils? What is going on? <laughs> it, it, those are lip liners. Let's elfing do it palettes. Give me my pocketbook. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is bad. Uh, what? It, well, okay. <laughs> mm. I thought, here's a thought. Maybe here's a thought. Let's think about this for a second. Okay, Tom. I'm not apologizing for this. So don't, don't think, don't you think that I'm going to do that? I don't have a problem with Elf. Me really. neither. I really don't. I, I just don't use Elf anymore. Elf could have tried to break into a new market, partnered with Jen, released a hair care line, like a $5 hair care line. That makes more sense to me than this. Yeah. I think Jen Atkin, I'm not sure. I don't follow her, but I think she has like a web presence like Chrissy I Teigen. Know. I think this is like one of those situations. Also, she's best friends with Chrissy Teigen. So I think that's like the, this is all why this is happening. Like this person is like a web personality. This is for that, people that are not us. 
Oh no 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 no. But um, so this would be basic as fuck. This is if you wanted to do the Kim Kardashian thing, but not spend as much money. This is bad, but I am, I hit bingo, basic as fuck, neutral palette. Ew. <laughs> hip Dot is doing a Hip Dot with Reese's limited edition collection. There are lip products to this, but I just figured we could talk about this. I will tell you, this is, this is shameful. Someone swatched them and the darker one, like the regular Reese's uh. one, it swatched Beautifully, like, and they didn't look like fake swatches. I feel attacked. The, okay, so are you familiar with Hip Dot at all? I am because okay. they released Meatballs palette, which also had beautiful swatches. Yeah. So I assume the quality is there. Also, a good rainbow palette that's not super expensive. Yes. If you because I've almost bought that one. I thought about it to support Meatballs, but then I realized several times I cannot buy makeup specifically to support people anymore. Like if it's a clam, there might be an exclusion. But, like, I don't think that would ever happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, if Marina did it something, I would be like... I mean... Yeah. Come on. The... These are a choice. I can't do food with makeup. That's a bingo square. It is. So is pressed glitter in a palette. And I do believe I see pressed glitter in a palette. Do I not? Oh, uh, maybe that's snack time. But I don't think that the other one... It is. looks like snack time is pressed yeah. glitter in a palette. Because I think the darker one yeah. is likely pressed glitter in a palette. But, I mean, like, hip, hip Dot needs to stop, too. All the makeup brands, let's... Hey, makeup brands. Calm let's, down. Zoom in. Just because... Zoom in. Just because you can doesn't mean you need to. Let's just, like, start thinking about what we're doing instead of just doing. It's tough out here, and just because you could make it doesn't mean you need to. Yeah, I just... Responsible. Responsible. Be responsible. be responsible, be a little bit more creative. Yeah, or like, don't even need to collab. Just make a really good thing. And leave it at that. Yeah. Like, what is everyone else not doing? You know this smells like Reese's. You know, right? You know Does that's it? what they're going to do. It doesn't say that anywhere, but you know that's what they're going to do. I love how Yinzer, I don't even know if this person's, from, that there's a comment that we can see. I just the, saw this on the says, news. I, I just seen this on the news. Yes. Because I think that's a very Yinzer thing to be like, I seen that. I seen that. I seen it. I seen it. Well, I that's what we it. say. <laughs> yes, that is what we say. But it's I seen tit. I seen, I seen tit. tit. I seen tit. Do you... I would like to announce that I have now hit bingo. <laughs> Press glitter in a palette. Period. Done. I guess you won though. There was no race. We were just doing it. No. I, I wasn't actually trying to like outwit. Theoretically. If we were playing real bingo. Yes. You did win. This was, I liked doing this. I If I could make this always like a, having a guest doing this with me, I think I would like, this is like much more fun than just. As opposed to you vibing alone. And I like talking to everyone who watches. Of course. Yeah. But it's also nice to like ricochet off. Cause I was like, oh my God, we're going to be like, just like the beauty news girls. <laughs> Except us. Except, yeah, except us. A little, a little more ruthless. Except, although sometimes they do, they, sometimes they do go in, but like not all the time. And then we were like, we will not celebrate mediocrity on this channel. <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> I get to control what happens on this channel. It is not mediocrity. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. Oh my god, it was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Do you want to plug our podcast so I don't have to? Yes. So in fact, we don't just have one. No. No, no. We have two for your listening pleasure. Wherever you find your podcast, or if you've never found a podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Stitcher, if people still use Stitcher. I use Stitcher. I have Stitcher Premium, but that's because I like to listen to note. All sorts of options yeah. for you. More importantly, It Bears Repeating is your pop culture expansion pack. We are wrapping up Kate Bush. Ah! For your, if you would like to listen to full series that are already complete, Tina Turner is available for your ears. There's an Avril Lavigne episode. That's a one-off. That's like a, a one-off. A quickie. If you liked season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race, I would say our coverage on that is pretty good. Like if you were like wanting to revisit... 
We did. We, we did, did do, do that. that. <laughs> we did that. I, I'm just saying, like, if you want to go into any of our coverage on RuPaul's Drag Race, I would say, like, season 10 is, like, the one. Yeah. I would agree with that. And then... I also was told last night that, like, a lot of people really enjoyed season our season 10 coverage, like, explicitly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was nice. And I was I like... I love hearing that. Uh, Recollect is Patreon podcast with a free feed. So look us up at any of those places I already mentioned. You get one episode a month. This last week, we posted box and stops for 2004 on our Instagram for your voting pleasure. And it sent me down a hell spiral. A lot, I did get a lot of support from the people that do listen in regards to our shared trauma around whiskey love. I could not believe. <laughs> I also got personal texts to me. They were like, that triggered me. I was like, I can't explain, I can't understand that because I, ne I those were the only like 45 seconds I had ever heard of that song and I never want to hear it again. I absolutely <laughs> never want to hear it again. You can't go down this path. No, I just am saying, I'm making my statement here and now. Not only that, so essentially, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened. You don't even have to pay for I'm giving this for free. <laughs> Tiffany picked this song to talk about explicitly. Like she could have picked 79 other songs. First of all, first of all, before the number one song for the week is discussed, we do honorable mentions, mm -hmm. which is anything that did not make the top 10 within the top 100, if we're talking like Billboard. Yeah. Anything outside of the top 10 tracks that yeah. we're discussing, you get three tracks each. Well, for this particular week in 2004, there were all these like trash ass, sad ass songs that I listened to back in 2004. So I was like, I'm about to be very authentic to who that person was, which meant I made absolutely terrifying, sad, melodramatic choices. Then she makes me listen to this. And then we play the bops and stops, which is like the whole point of the thing is like, the song is good, the song is bad, we move on, whatever. But then you get to play on our Instagram stories. It's like the voting, the polls. This bitch <laughs> stops the song that she went out of her way to make us talk about. And like listen to for a second. It is a stop. I don't care. <laughs> but it needs to be honorably mentioned because that was my truth. And then that man messaged us that I think you know. <laughs> and he was like, that song slapped like the the, the rock. Cross the song. I was like That's a very that's like a very close friend of Josh's who I don't think has ever interacted with Recollect literally ever. I but think he I does posted both. I posted a short clip of me singing on my personal Instagram what I really meant to say to like entice people to vote because in my mind I was like this is hilarious like if this is the vibes you're looking for we've got you. It was a time. I mean oh, almost every week of Recollect is a journey in itself. A capsule a journey. A time. Yeah, it's like one episode, Tiffany did like a disco compilation album, and I don't think she was ready for me to like have had a strong relationship. I with. didn't know what we were getting into, but I was surprised and delighted. It was a good time. We had so much fun. It was fun. So all of my other links, all of the stuff's linked below. So go check it out if you want to hear more from me. And I think that ends, I think at a whopping two hours, we can finally wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. See you in the next one. See Bye. you next time. Bye.